Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Dylan James, and I'm a mindset coach that loves to specifically focus on relationships. However, I'm not just limited to helping you with relationships. Mindset, what you believe and feel about yourself becomes your experience. So if there's other areas of your life that you'd like to work on, including self-esteem, career, money, anything else, I'm more than happy and willing and here to help and support you. And in today's video, I want to talk about circumstances with your specific person. Okay. <laughs> We need to get into this. First off, circumstances do not matter. I know you hear this from me, from all over YouTube. People say this that understand manifestation, but I want to go into this a little bit deeper today to really drive home what that means. Okay. So a lot of you are listening to my eight hour affirmation tape on my channel called Limitless Manifestor. I'm doing this because I'm going to be linking it up here after this video is posted. Okay. And what you're experiencing is you're going from one self-concept to a new self-concept. In my videos, I've been talking about how love, happiness, fulfillment is not outside of you. In fact, when you start to really recognize your power and step fully into being conscious and creating consciously in your reality, you begin to accept the fact, the, the knowing, the feeling state that I can create whatever I want as long as, one, I believe in my ability to create it, I know that I'm worthy, deserving, and I'm feeling the love within myself, and two, I stay in that feeling state. Okay, so a lot of you are going through shifts, which is amazing. You're seeing my community tab with tons of success stories, which is so beautiful, and I just posted yesterday, too, that I am going to be putting out some more eight-hour affirmation tapes, but I'm going to make a video later today discussing that and how I want people to approach it, but I do want to talk about circumstances with your specific person when they start manifesting back into your reality and what to do in those moments if something undesirable pops up, okay? Because this is really, really important. It doesn't matter if something undesirable pops up too and you react to it because you have to really see the moment these beliefs fully, fully sink in. It's all going to shift and change anyways, but I want to give some tools here for that moment, those moments when you're shifting to make this process as easy, as effortless as possible so that you know what to do in those moments when things are manifesting. Okay. So I definitely experienced this even in my relationship with Adam where undesirable things would pop up and had I reacted to it in a negative manner or gave it power, it would have made the process a lot more difficult. So what I'm doing on my channel is trying to give you all the answers and the support for free so that you don't have to struggle through this alone. So just take a second to really listen to what I'm saying here, okay? It does not matter what they are doing. And in fact, you may even experience your old belief system manifesting in them that I'm not worthy, I'm not deserving, I'm not worthy of commitment, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, from your old self-concept manifesting in them in moments as you're going through this transition, okay? They may try to reject you. They may ignore you. They may show up saying that they're interested in other people. When you fully recognize that it is not outside of you, it's not outside of you, love and validation and approval is not outside of you, then you're not going to react to these circumstances feeling like it's a blow to yourself, feeling like it's a blow to your self-esteem, feeling like it's a blow to your ability to create in your reality, feeling like it's not going to shift or change. Okay. Now, if you do react that way, it's okay because you're working on building these new beliefs. So the first thing that I want to say is if something pops up and it's undesirable and you react and respond to it and feel disempowered, that is where you need to show yourself unconditional love unconditional forgiving and really kind of nurturing yourself like a parent would to a child because you're human and you're changing your self-concept. So typically what I'll see with people is they'll say, oh my gosh, I reacted to this. It's all messed up, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. No, actually it's not messed up. Nothing you can do is going to mess up what it is that you want to create, except for what you believe is going to mess it up. And then even there, you're going to see that you're going to come to realizations later on that it's not messed up. So if you allow yourself to get into that dwelling energy of I messed this up, really all you're doing is making it harder on yourself and making the process longer than it needs to be. So the moment that you become conscious, let's say you do react to something negatively, the moment you become conscious and you recognize, okay, wow, this just unfolded. My big, biggest word of, word of advice that I can give you is to be very loving and unconditional with yourself and to recognize, oh crap, one of my limiting beliefs manifested. I allowed it to get a reaction out of me 
And if I continue to dwell or feel bad about it, then I'm going to stay here. Okay, so this is where you have to really be very, very gentle with yourself, very loving with yourself and very forgiving with yourself because the circumstance is going to dissolve. It's going to shift. It's going to change. Okay, the faster, the fastest way to create this change is to approach yourself with the love because we create what we are. So if we stay dwelling in the fact that, that something triggered us and that it's not working, then because we feel that it's not working, we're going to keep seeing that reflect back to our reality. Versus if you can step in and be like, you know what? I really love myself. It's okay. I'm grounding myself in love. I'm forgiving myself. These beliefs are changing. I'm human. I'm going through a growth process right now. I'm going to let this go and know that it's going to change. You're going to see it change much more quickly. Okay. Now, the other thing I want to talk about, because there's going to be a point where it doesn't get a reaction from you anymore. And this is the fun part when you really, really start getting conscious, okay? You may see circumstances, things pop up that reflect the old belief system. And instead of getting an emotional response from you, you're going to feel powerful, okay, above it. And you're going to see it kind of like a test, okay? That's the best way that I can word it. I know a lot of people online will say this is a limiting belief. It doesn't have to be that way. I'm explaining this for people that are going through this so that you know what to do. It doesn't have to be this way. You can get to a point where you fully accept in a new self-concept instantaneously and everything shifts instantaneously to match those new beliefs. But if you're noticing that you have some resistance, then you're going to experience that your old belief system kind of pops up and tests you. So it's good to know this knowledge so that you know what to do in those moments in case you do have some resistance, okay? But I've tried to really deal with this head on with you all and say, when you're doing this belief system practice, meditate on the statement, my subconscious mind is accepting these new beliefs with absolutely no resistance. Prime your mind to accept this belief system so that you don't experience these things, okay? Now, if they do pop up and you notice that you're not lowering your state of being to match it where it is, you're going to make it completely powerless and you're going to see that the circumstance shifts and changes very quickly, okay? So they can literally come up to you and say, I don't wanna be with you, I don't like you, I don't love you, okay? How I would respond to that, let me just give you my perspective, okay? For instance, if Adam came up and said something to me like, I don't love you anymore, I don't wanna be with you, I would not go into a space of, oh my gosh, what did I do, what is wrong, what's happening, why is he saying this to me? I would literally look at it and be like, okay, well, I don't really need you. I love myself. I'm creating love within myself and I'm not accepting this because this is not a part of my reality. So I don't need to react to it. I don't need to worry about it. I'm going to move on with my day and I'm going to continue to feel good because I know as long as I feel good and I feel love for myself, everything's going to shift and reflect that back to me. That is a very powerful place to be, okay? And you have to really see here that things are not happening to you. They're happening through you, okay? Things are not manifesting in your reality and and like it's happening to you. No, it's literally happening through you. So as you start changing your belief system, you may see people, places, and things pop up that reflected the old beliefs where they come in and say very purposefully triggering things to you where it's like, I'm literally working on this belief. Why is somebody coming up to me and telling me I'm not worthy when I'm affirming it I am worthy? It's not because it's not working. It's because your limiting belief is manifesting out into your reality and trying to trigger you into a disempowered state. Okay, if you can recognize that and you can look at it and say, no, I actually am worthy and I feel it within myself and I'm not going to react to this. I'm going to just let you say whatever you want to say, whatever. This is going to change. This is not a part of my story. You will literally see it change. Okay, so the biggest thing that I want to say here is the circumstances literally do not matter. They don't matter. Okay, the only thing that matters is what you feel and what you believe. And if you externalize love and say, and you think, I need them to show up this way for me to know that it is working, for me to feel, fully feel this feeling, then you open yourself up to the opportunity for things to manifest to make you feel disempowered, which is perpetuating your limiting beliefs. Okay. It's kind of a little bit of a mind game. Okay. That's the best way to think about it. All right. So if you can recognize that's what's going on and you can stay solid in that, you know what? I'm feeling love within myself. I'm feeling amazing within myself. I'm not buying this. I know I'm absolutely worthy. I am absolutely deserving. I always get what I want. This is nothing. This is going to change. I don't even need to worry about it. I'm going to handle this. Like what I would say, honestly, if circumstances popped up that were the opposite of what I want to experience, I would literally look at it and be like, okay, I'll help you do it. You don't want to be with me? Go ahead. I'll help you leave. I would literally encourage it because I know I'm literally not buying it. 
I'm not buying it. So I'm not going to be affected by it because I'm creating my, nothing is happening to me. It's happening through me. So when you react to things and you're like, oh my God, they're saying this, they're doing this. What the heck is going on? Why would they say this to me? And you try and fight it. You are doing that because at some core level, you believe it, you feel powerless. If you take the other approach and you're like, you know what? I'm not buying it. It's okay. I love you. I accept you. I embrace you. Do whatever you want to do. I'm not going to control you. And you have this deep inner knowing you are going to see it shift. You're going to see it change and it's going to reflect the new beliefs. It's going to dissolve very, very quickly. Okay. So that is your power. Your power is in what you feel and what you believe. And if something, if things are popping up and getting a reaction out of you and you feel like you have to prove yourself, you have to try, you have to figure it out. You have to convince, you have to plead, you have to, you have to win somebody's affection. You have to convince them that is coming from your limiting beliefs. Manifesting is not a trying process. It's a belief and it's a feeling and it's a knowing and it's a love within yourself. When you fully operate in your power and you stop feeling powerless to what people are doing to you and feeling like you need to force things to happen, when you stop acting that way and you really recognize I am the creator in my reality, everything is showing up and responding based on what I believe and what I feel about myself, it's not outside of me, then anything can happen out here. And because you're holding this deep knowing, this deep feeling state, it will conform to the new to the feeling state and the beliefs that you have. It's very easy. It really is. Once you get this down, the only part that makes it difficult is if you have those limiting beliefs that are making you feel like it's real, that are making you feel like you have to try, that are making you feel powerless to the circumstance. So I'm trying to rationalize this with you. Listen to this video a few times so it really sinks in. Nothing is happening to you. It's happening through you. Okay. And if you can really make things powerless, literally the way that I make it powerless is if something undesirable pops up, I'm like, let me help you. Let me help you with that. It's great. Oh yeah. Oh, you want to do that? Sure. Okay. Let me help you with this. I, I'm not even worried about it. You're going to see that when you make it powerless that way, it literally dissolves. Okay. Don't allow yourself to go down into those lower states of jealousy, fear, anger, doubt, hatred. Okay. Stay in a high state of being, stay in that state of love within yourself and know that the circumstance is going to change and that's going to be exactly what happens. In fact, it's going to change very quickly the moment you make it completely powerless. Okay. Alrighty. Beautiful. Let me see if there's anything here. Them shiny locks. Thank you. Thank you for all the thumbs up. Thank you for all the new people that are on my channel. I really genuinely appreciate every single one of you. Mine didn't even know me and said no when my friends asked him if he'd be interested. Does not matter, okay? Hey, Dylan, I woke up really feeling bad after listening to the tape. I'm getting old memories popping back up and they're not fun at all. So this is your subconscious mind trying to reject the new belief. So I say this at the beginning, it's kind of like a roller coaster, you guys. And I say that to be very very honest and genuine so you know what to expect okay so your old belief system is trying to reject the new beliefs okay and so it does this by bringing memories or thoughts or circumstances to you in your reality to make you feel powerless to keep your state of being lower okay at, at the beginning it's very difficult to get the the control within yourself I don't want to say that as a limiting belief. So start telling yourself, okay, when this is happening, I am powerful. I am in control of my state of being. I am self-regulating. But also recognize that this roller coaster is happening because you are actually shifting the beliefs. There's movement going on within you, okay? And your subconscious mind is going to have to submit and accept this belief system. And the fastest way to do it is to accept and love yourself knowing going through these emotions because you don't want to repress emotions you don't want to suppress emotions so what's happening is any low emotions that are attached to these previous beliefs also come up to the surface to be cleared you do most of this in your dream state that's why you get these really weird dreams but during the day you're going to notice that you might go from a high to a low okay it's because the old beliefs are manifesting maybe you do need to clear some emotions honor it okay but do not feel guilty just really nurture and love yourself and give yourself the unconditional love that you deserve. You're going to go through this process very quickly and you're going to stabilize. Okay. All righty. Yes, we don't need to chase. We don't need to try. Manifesting is not about chasing or trying. It's about knowing your worth, knowing that love and happiness and abundance is not outside of you. It is within you as within so without. Stop looking to your reality and saying, why are they doing this? Why is this happening to me? No, 
You can decide what you want to feel and believe. And in fact, the more that you feel and believe within yourself in an unwavering trust and faith, you're going to see the outer reality reflected back to you. Don't give it your time and attention. Don't even give it your reaction. Make it completely powerless. Go into fulfillment within yourself, love within yourself, joy within yourself. Feel radiant and glowing within yourself. The more you feel that way and you stop reacting or giving power to the outside circumstances, the more you're going to see them shift and reflect back to you, your new state of being. You are literally so powerful. Literally, you can create anything. You can be, do, have absolutely anything. But the thing is, you have to be your number one fan. You have to believe in yourself more than anything. And you have to feel it real within you. It is not going to be something that you receive externally. I can't literally like... Bleh pull out some love, right? And be like, here you go. Here's a feeling of love. Nobody can create that feeling and give it to you. You have to see that you have to become what it is that you are creating and stop seeking for it in the people and places and things around you. Because the moment you fully become love, the moment you fully become happiness, the moment you fully accept love, believe, and trust in yourself, you're going to see that reflected back to you from everybody and everything. Okay. All righty. Let's see. All right. Sorry. Just wanted to clarify making it powerless is to not let it affect you emotionally. Correct. Or just ignore, ignore it completely. Just not allow it to affect you emotionally. Okay. So I don't want people to stick their head in the sands because that's avoidance. Avoidance is a manifestation of feeling powerless. It is about dealing with the circumstances as they arise, but recognizing that they don't really matter and that it's going to change. That's why I'm saying when I've had circumstances in the past, I've just been like, okay, I'll help you. Whatever you want to do, it's I'm not buying it, so I'm not going to get angry or upset about it. In fact, okay, if that's what you're saying, I'll gladly help you and I'll do it so loving and so embracing and so accepting that it's going to change. So that's what you have to see with circumstances or if people come at you with this nasty negative energy, if you avoid or ignore it, you're giving it power because you're feeling disempowered to deal with it. The key here is to deal with it in a way that is loving and empowered that you're not buying it. Okay, so if I really genuinely believe it's going to change, then I'm not going to try and control it, stop it or uh, manipulate it. I'm going to say, okay, you don't want to be with me. That's fine. Whatever the, whatever the person says, you don't want this, that's fine. I love you. How can I help you? What can I do to help you go through this? You're going to see when you approach it that way, you're doing that because you're not buying it. And also it's going to cause it to shift because you're making it completely powerless and you're feeling empowered enough to deal with it. You're not giving it that negative emotional response that you would give it that if you believed that it was real, okay, that it was actually solid, okay? So people are saying it's quite difficult to not get emotional or feel those negative emotions because you don't want it to manifest. You're going to see that, well, yes, you don't want to drop your state of being into that low state of being. So what I'm talking about here is you have to see your beliefs. Okay, so let's talk about beliefs. Where do your thoughts come from? Where does your feeling state come from? Okay, so what you think, have you ever asked yourself, where are these thoughts coming from? Why do I have these thoughts? Where are they coming from? They're not just whoop, popping up into your mind out of nowhere. They're coming from something, right? So they're coming from your beliefs. What is your feeling state coming from? Your feeling state is coming from the thoughts that you continually have that cause you to feel something, right? So if I change my beliefs, that means all of the thoughts that I'm going to have are going to reflect the new beliefs as well as the feeling state that I generate. So you have to see here that what you are all doing as you're listening to these affirmation tapes is you're shifting from one belief system, one self-concept to another self-concept where all of the thoughts and the feelings that you have are going to come from the new belief system. So you guys may experience that as you're going through this shift, you react to things, you get triggered, and that is coming from your old self-concept. Make it powerless, okay? You may experience some emotions that come up that just need to be cleared. Do that in the privacy of the space you hold for yourself. The moment these new beliefs sink in and they fully stick, all of the thoughts and the feelings that you're going to have are going to come from the new belief system. And because that's what you're consistently feeling and thinking, you're going to see it effortlessly manifest. Okay. It does take a little bit of time to get these beliefs in, dependent on how resistant your subconscious is to it. So this is why I've been saying prime your mind 
my subconscious mind is fully accepting this new belief system with absolutely no resistance. And if anything pops up in your reality, do not allow for it to trigger you back into that low state of being. However, there may be moments where you just need to process some emotions. So process those emotions and do it with complete unconditional love and acceptance and safety and security within yourself. The moment these new beliefs fully stick, you're going to see really truly how powerful you are and nothing is going to be able to make you waver in what you're believing, what you're thinking, what you're feeling because it's self-created, it's self-reliant, it's self-sustained, it's all within you and everything is going to reflect that back to you, okay? So somebody just asked about uh, ho, uh, EFT and Hapono no, no. I always say that incorrectly. I'm sorry. So somebody also asked me today earlier, what about forgiveness? All you need to do is change your beliefs. So what did I just say? What you're feeling and what you're thinking is coming from your beliefs. So the moment you get new beliefs in alignment, you're going to manifest the feeling state and the thoughts from those new beliefs. So you don't really need to do EFT tapping and forgiveness is going to be a natural byproduct of changing your belief system because as you change your belief system and you come into a new state of being, you're going to completely release the past. So when you get into a cycle of forgiving yourself or sitting with your emotions, you're actually dwelling in the old belief system. The forgiveness part and the change is going to occur the moment these beliefs stick. It's not going to be something that you have to try to do. You're going to naturally look back and say, wow, I see now all of these things happen and it was there to show me what beliefs needed to be changed within me. I forgive myself naturally because I'm feeling amazing now and I have these new beliefs. So really all you need to do, in my opinion, is listen to the beliefs while you're sleeping, trust that it's going in and allow yourself to assume this new state of being. And if anything pops up along the way, make it completely powerless. The more you can make this process enjoyable, the faster it's going to occur. So when you're awake, if you can listen to music that feels really good, if you can do things that you really love and enjoy, and you can consistently stay in this feel-good state, knowing that these beliefs are sinking in, you're going to see it manifest very quickly, very, very quickly, okay? Alrighty, so I do have to get going. Thank you for all the thumbs up. Thank you for everybody that is here, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.